Your girl is a Taurus sun. Focus on your peace, moving forward. If it shows up half-baked, half-cooked, half-made, half-ready, release it. Period. Stop forcing shit that's no one. Ain't gonna hold nobody. Ain't gonna fake shit, ain't gonna hold shit, ain't gonna make shit up. I love what I do. Cause I'm tap the fuck in. I'ma read this motherfucking course yeah. left, right, up, down, sideways, sideways. Tap the fuck in. You hear me? Yeah, I read Mirror it. two. Tap the fuck Backwards in. Backwards in reverse. Yeah. I'ma read these bitches. Hello, Leo. Welcome. Let's get into your messages. This will be for Leo. Any placement. Flip the switch to energy. Take the resonates only from the multiple scenarios that will come out. And it's collective Leo reading. Anything you need to know about me will be down below or in my bio to save you from being scammed. The link to book a reading on my actual social media platforms. If this reading does not resonate, it's simply not your story. For Leo, any placement. What's the tea? I hope you all are well. Let's see. What does Leo need to know? We got spirit guides, assistance, divine guidance, signs and synchronicities, and guardian. We will clarify. Some of you could definitely be getting downloads. Your intuition could be leading you. Are you listening? For Leo, some of you are seeing spirit animals, spirit totems. You're trying to get more in tune with your guide, self-worth and faith. Some of your, some of you, your guides could be birds like myself. Uh, there's an eagle here. There's an eagle here with the strike of this tree. This is a tower, but it's divine intervention. So we got divine guidance and divine intervention. Some of you are looking at a situation but perhaps you're having a hard time seeing it clearly for what it is. The universe could be stepping in, changing something for you, but you may be trying to make it work. It has a lot to do with self-worth, healing, and boundaries. Okay, so this is going to be deep. Some of you could be trying to overextend, overdo, overcompensate. A situation that's not favorable. Okay, some of the key words we have here is healing, unworthiness, boundaries, expectations, values, and high vibration. Something could be beneath you or your standards definitely could have been dropped drastically for a person or a job even some of you definitely need to be with self-worth standing in your power will of fortune karma cycles divine intervention and divine detour definitely a shift here but some of you again could be trying to bend the wheel of fortune into your own course of things like that will be ego like you want a situation to go your way ego is not always superficiality or material it could be you are accustomed to having life a certain way. Your ego is telling you it should be like this or it should be like that. All right. Anything else here for Leo? Some of you are put in a leadership role here. We got Ace of Fire, passion, new starts, attraction, creation, desire, new venture or job, action. I'm telling you, some of you is work. And you may not be getting what you deserve in regards to any payouts royalties recognition which will be six of wands energy let's see let's clarify for a lot of you with the ace of cups showing up here cancer scorpio pisces it's about love some of you are hurting five of cups scorpio here some of you want to forgive a person for their wrongs and y'all are still together so it could be hard to heal in the same place where you were hurt you could be dealing with a Virgo or there's a lot of thinking, a lot of solitude, a lot of withdrawing energy, even if you're in a relationship. Virgo energy, if I did not say. Some of you could be older than the person you're with. Some of you sought some kind of guidance from a, someone that was seasoned, well-versed or experienced in whatever path or aspect of uh, your life this is. But you're going to have to reflect, shadow work with the hermit on what's best for you, what serves and what does not. But let's see. Some kind of mentor. Spirit guides for Leo. What's the energy for Leo, please? Five of Wands. Your energy came out sideways. Came out chaotic, really. In reverse, then sideways. Facing the left. This is something from your past. It could be internal conflict, childhood trauma, upbringing, old ideas, morals, ethics, or a person. Whatever it is, you're guided to move forward. You even, I feel like some of you are even guided to do it a certain way like it's like you know what you must do you've received the proper guidance out of a situation a way forward but it's all about whether or not you're going to take action underneath this ace of fire is ace of water some of you are definitely now some of y'all could be on that cancer leo cuss yeah but some of you are definitely dealing with a water sign or another fire sign but there's a lot going on here in regards to healing 
So your healing has affected a lot of your choices. Overthinking in your head, Gemini energy, eight of swords, worries or fears. Some of you feel bad for whatever decision this is you know you must make. This could be leaving a job. Like let's say you're the boss or you're the CEO or you're the manager, Shifley, whatever it is. You feel like you're leaving a lot of weight on someone to pick up from, to pick up when you leave. Now, some of you, this is a relationship. You want to break free, leave something behind, separate from someone, but you're worried about how they will survive in your absence. Could be a child's father, child's mother, husband, wife, whatever it is. It's some kind of codependency you feel that someone has on you for some of you. Like you don't want to leave them out to dry, but you're killing yourself softly. There's some internal conflict for a lot of you. Okay, self-worth for Leah. Some of you, you're conflicted within about a decision you made. It's already made. Yeah. Self-worth. This could have been choosing the wrong person or choosing someone you thought was right for you, but now you're missing someone else. Let's see. Self-worth. Multiple scenarios. Collective read. Self-worth for Leo. Self-worth coming out sideways. Facing the future. This is self-deception with the seven of swords, Aquarius energy. A lot of sneaking around for some of you. You're in a third party situation, whether you're the sneaker or the sneaky. The sneaker is the one sneaking around because they're already involved. The sneaky is the one that's getting sneaked up on. <laughs> it's the mistress or the mister. The sneaky link for some of you. Anyways, yeah, this King of Cups could be having some internal conflict. Feeling less than, woe is me. Taurus energy with the five of pentacles. Feeling lack or whoever he's with, he needs or they need him. Six of pentacles. Five of pentacles and six of pentacles. Two people are together in a marriage or a home, four wines. Yes, heavy on the marriage with the hierophant. Heavy Aries, heavy, heavy Taurus. They need each other. Or one of them knows the other person needs them. So that's why they have not left her being the noble steed or the noble Stella in this case okay anyway seven of swords could also be deception if not self deception self worth is here but if not that's a capricorn my child acting up behind the scenes some of you could be dealing with a capricorn but the deception could be not just internally it could be external someone around you is using you manipulating you lying to you and is blocking you from moving forward seeing things clearly focusing on yourself this could also be manipulation oh if it if, if I lose you, I'm not going to be able to survive, or I need you, or give me one more chance, or I can fix this. I can do right by you. I'm going to get my shit together for some of you. Okay, what's fate for Leah? Falling between spirit guides and self-worth, we have the hermit. Virgo energy. Now, some of you could be on the Leo Virgo cups. Leo, y'all are right here in the middle of two zodiac signs in this read. This goes back to what I was saying about letting things be the way that they're supposed to be, especially if the universe steps in to create some kind of intervention, change up, switch up, or shift in your life. With the reflection, the shadow work, the even taking the time to withdraw and see a situation from a different perspective, or maybe in solitude uh, with the hermit. Now, if y'all are married, if y'all are in a relationship situation shit, where you and someone stand together, sharing deals together, it's kind of hard to separate and be able to reflect. And that's where we are. Y'all are in some kind of partnership or situation where there's some individuality required. And it's hard to obtain that when you're with a partner. But this tower, though, this could be cheating. This could be someone finally blurting out how they felt, what they've been holding back, what they've been repressing things that they want for themselves, maybe even a switch up in a relationship. I've been picking up on polygamy for y'all for a while. That could be the situation. If someone keeps sneaking around and keep cheating, this person may have the polygamous mindset or even I'm going to have to even get deep, like a polygamous type genetic. Like that could be their father's fathers, their forefathers. <laughs> like this could be something that they are definitely, that they definitely have embedded within them. Now, for some of you, this is about a job. Is this for me? Should I move? Should I do this? Do, do I feel fulfilled? Now, I feel like for most of you, though, let me get another one. This is a relationship. Someone needs you, but you need yourself. One more for faith, for Leo. Temperance, balance, Sagittarius energy, healing, harmony, equal give and take because this person has one foot on land and one foot on the water. So definitely needing to have uh, a balance between logic, 
you know, with the with the land being sturdy, stable, pentacle energy with earth, and then the water is more intuitive, emotional, nurturing. Some of you could be trying to make a heart over head decision and you definitely need balance between the two because when self work is showing up on the table, what are you doing for you? Like how do how do you make sure that you're being taken care of? Um, especially in regards to relationship, whether you're the masculine or the feminine, or you being taken care of, or you pouring into yourself. Some of you, this is a peaceful workplace environment. You're wanting a more peaceful workplace environment, or even laid back, less physical demand for some of you. You're going to have to take that chance, take that risk. Some of you, this could be starting your own business. You could feel like things are moving slow. You're not sure which way to go about it. Proper research with the hermit, or someone is more seasoned, more wise, that can give you the proper layout or instructions on how to get your business up and coming and off the ground let's see what ace of fire is speaking of new venture for leo sideways we have the high priestess a lot of mystery here a lot of suppression if it's like emotional um secrets and deception for some of you with the seven of swords facing the future the high priestess facing the left which is the past Someone is holding things back. Now, this could be their own internal trauma, upbringing, childhood wounds, or this could be like a mistress dynamic. Some of you are in same-sex relationships, or the person you're with is bisexual, or even just flat out the other way, other than heterosexual. And they're not, they're not being true to themselves. So if someone feels pulled back, pushed back from you, it's because they are desiring a different type of sexuality. Or uh, the high priestess could also be a pregnancy. Some of you are trying to decide based on some kind of lustful encounter. It was a one night stand or it was just a buddy buddy dynamic situation. Whether or not you want to keep this child. And whoever this is you're pregnant by is someone you've been uh, been around with for a while. Some of you are having dreams about someone as well. It's a telepathic connection. It's blocking you from truly moving forward, pushing forward. Because you keep looking back thinking about this person. So the deception is self-deception. You're still in love with someone or someone is heavy on your mind. It's hard for you to be in whatever this is or focus on whatever this is you're going towards. Another definition for high priest is mystery, occult stuff. I don't really see too much spell work, but if I do, it will be manipulation tactics that are very hard to hold onto someone's mental. Someone keeps breaking free out of someone's mind games as well. Okay, childhood trauma, though, heavy on that. M maternal issues. Someone has issues with their mother. Someone could be very promiscuous as well. Very, very raunchy, whole like. Let me go ahead and throw it out there with this high priestess. They are with it's clarifying fire and passion. So and the high priestess could be seen as a very mysterious, seductive woman as well, or feminine energy, if it's same sex, um, more of the feminine version or whatever connection y'all in. And they are they they have some player days, some player ways, some whole like situations that are from their past that they have yet to break free. It's like trying to turn a hole into a housewife sideways. It's like it's facing the left. This is someone's old way of, of life. Now, that makes sense for the relationship. I said someone feels like they, they got a lot of love to give. They want to be in multiple relationships. That's why they keep cheating. Again, pregnancy, childhood trauma, and some of you pushing forward and not repressing what this is that you want for yourself, regardless to whatever partnership you're in. I've said this plenty of times on this channel. Even when y'all are married, you still have, or in a strong, long-term relationship, stable connection, you still have to make sure individuality is being met or you will kill yourself, lose yourself, slowly or softly. Like, you forget who you are. It's hard to be in a connection that is healthy if you're not pouring into yourself you'll lose yourself and here we have the wishes of a uh, nine of cups energy it's wishes contentment successful outcome happiness and even pleasure are you happy and some of you need boundaries as well some of you men are in a situation where the woman wants to wear water pants in a connection or she more than likely is however that go but yeah make sure that you're happy leo you're pursuing your goals or this is someone closely connected to you going through this if it's not you this is your read. Until next time. Peace.